and all of us should be very pleased to play this role and need to support this because all of us should be keen to unleash the Indian tiger. And we haven't done that as yet. Honorable Prime Minister, Honorable Chief Minister, and members of the audience, I can't make a speech in Hindi, so I shall try to communicate with all of you in English. The message will be the same. It will be from my heart. Today is a very important day in the history of the state of Assam. It is a day that raises Assam to a higher level in terms of health care and treatment of cancer that has not been experienced by the other, other states in the country. It really is a day that cancer, which is not a rich man's disease, is being equipped to, to serve and treat the millions of people that are inflicted. None of this would have taken place if it had not been for the insight and futures of our enlightened chief minister who has been the driving force in this entire activity. And of course, none of this could ever happen without the support and the earnest desire to give Assam the recognition it deserves. And that would be our Honorable Prime Minister. This Prime Minister and his government have achieved many great advances. And it is humbling and at the same time a question of great pride to know that, that this event today is the culmination of many months of very advanced thinking. I shall not bore you with more statements. I should just say thank you very much. And thank you, Mr. Prime Minister and Mr. Chief Minister and the government for all that they have done. I dedicate my last years to help uh, make Assam a state that recognizes and is recognized by all. Thank you very much. Walking around this Tea Hub building this, uh, this afternoon <clears throat> could not help me, could not but help me feel that I was looking at a new face of India, one of the new faces of India. <clears throat> the face of entrepreneurship, innovation, and enterprise. Entrepreneurship and, and the sense of 
enterprise is not new in India. We're a nation of people who have been shopkeepers, small uh, cottage industry um, managers and owners. We have done this over the years. We have been entrepreneurs, be it in agriculture, be it in, in traditional industries. And, and yet we have not been recognized all over the world as an enterprising country. What we have not done is registered ourselves as an entrepreneurial nation in the new technologies of the world. The technologies that don't require billions of dollars to establish, that don't require hundreds of acres to, to build, enterprises that are built on innovation that's in your mind, non-traditional, untried, and sometimes risky, but that make a big, big difference in the world of tomorrow. This is what elevated the United States in the 80s into a new world of technology and high tech. It changed the way we live, it changed, changes what we hold in our hands in terms of phones, communication. And yet India has only been a part of it through people who left India and gone elsewhere. And why? Because the environment here didn't support them. I grew up in an environment where if you had an idea your boss or your manager politely told you, and sometimes not so politely, that you need to gain some experience before you open your mouth. You need to roll up your sleeves and spend five years on the shop floor. Then you can talk. And that's not what enterprise is today. Enterprise today is an ability of someone who may be in his 20s, who has a good idea, and he needs to find a way to implement them. We now have an en environment of venture capital that listens to that person, and we have a facility like this to enable that person to try out his idea, to bring it into reality or fruition in a manner that is interdisciplinary, open, and unifying. So this is, in fact, the first look at the new India of tomorrow. Tomorrow, day after tomorrow, etc. Not only in e-commerce, not only in, in uh, e-retailing, etc., but in the exciting area of medical remedies, medical treatment, stem cells, life sciences, and this can be the starting point of that new wave. And so it's a great privilege to be here today. This is an area that needs all of our support and needs for us to be proud of what we have, but it needs for us to be keen to not be satisfied with what we have, but to go further and to be leaders in the, in the world, not in the country alone. So my enthusiasm in the new India of tomorrow continues to be there. I continue to feel the need to support enterprising young Indian engineers and scientists. And all of us should be very pleased to play this role and need to support this because all of us should be keen to unleash the Indian tiger. And we haven't done that as yet. So let's all put our hearts and souls behind the fact that this is going to be the new India of tomorrow. And what we're seeing in this building is just the start, just a nucleus of what could be the new big, big thing in the country. And thank you very much for... 
visit our site, EnglishSpeechChannel.com for exclusive access to video transcripts, offline audio, English lessons, and private classes. Don't forget to explore our free and new ebooks. Also, subscribe to our weekly newsletter for the latest updates. Links in the description below. Thanks for your support.